right here. I collected bark. Wow! Hello everybody, I am back. We have about a foot of snow in let's say last two days. It was some kind of storm and it played perfectly for me because uh, today is uh, Modern Survival Tactics birthday. So I am celebrating uh, every year on the same time the overnight trip which I did uh, a couple of years ago as a first video and we had uh, similar weather so I am glad that I can make it somehow almost the same. I also have the same backpack which I had at the first time. I have only one sleeping bag, the self-inflating sleeping pad which I always carry with me. I have a couple tarps. I have planned to build some uh, snow shelter obviously. We should also have some extra snow overnight. Temperatures are around 18 Fahrenheit. I'm not sure minus 10 Celsius, something like that. Overnight it should be the same, so nothing crazy. So now I need to find some kind of uh, good location with open ground a bit where I can um, collect the snow and use it for the shelter building idea. So let's go. All right, I got lucky, I believe. Remember, always try to use the nature's resources. And this is what I found. Look at that. A tree broke and fell in the middle of the other tree. And all those branches right here are ready for me to use it for the shelter. From the distance I thought somebody put uh, the branches there, but uh, no, Mother Nature did it for me and my plan is to use base of this tree and run one pole here and use those felled branches on the sides, maybe some plastic, pile up snow on top, I will see what I will come up with. So change in the plans. When I was uh, looking around uh, the previous location, which is somewhere behind me, maybe you can see that, I found this also very nice natural shelter, half built, if I can say, and I have planned to basically sleep under that tree and build like a big platform or not platform, like a roof from uh, the already uh, mentioned uh, branches which fell. So I will use it and pile the snow on top of that. We'll see. Okay, so clean up first to expose the ground and leaves. And after that I will start collecting the branches. I have a couple tools, my trusty shovel, uh, K-Bar, Big Brother and the Laplander backhoe saw. So far as you can see I attached uh, the uh, emergency reflective blanket, uh, which I always take with me, uh, the silver side inside, of course, and I attach it uh, to the poles. And now I will attach another poles like this, or branches, and uh, the sides will be covered with uh, another plastic, which is uh, old shower curtain. Now I added another three branches 
which will support the snow. I have plan to put another branches uh, on top, somehow in between uh, the tarp and the other branches to, to prepare the platform for the snow. And these branches should probably help hold the snow a little bit before sliding down. Here I attach the plastic on the left side of the shelter. Here is the inside so far. Certainly that hole needs to be covered probably by tarp or I will pile some snow over there. And this side will be entrance. And before the snow I wanted to show you what I did. Uh, with the inside uh, coverage basically this is the another tarp the reflective blanket and I as you can see jammed sticks from the outside to hold it against the tree and inside I put a heavy lock so when I will pile the snow from that side it will somehow hold and will not fall inside the shelter otherwise it looks very nice it feels already warmer inside when I checked it out excellent the right side of the shelter is covered by the plastic as well and now we are ready for the fun part snow So as you see this is the back side of the shelter, I managed to completely close the side with the snow, now I'm going to front, this is covered as well and it was not that much work, I know the layer, especially on this section, is not that thick, but um, I don't want to go with too much snow because it's very heavy and it can collapse, which in the middle of the night would not be a great experience. And this is inside again. I cannot wait to test it out. I believe the shelter will work, because if not, I am in big trouble. And I forgot to mention, I will fill out the garbage bag with snow as much as possible and will block the entrance at the night to make some kind of uh, barrier against cold. And to increase the already very luxurious feel of the shelter I collected some bark so when some snow will come from the top uh, or side it will not go right under my uh, sleeping pad but it will stay on the reflective blanket but I will be somehow insulated uh, from the snow and the ground as well. Now when the shelter is done, let's celebrate a little bit, have some fun. What about shovel throwing exercise? Okay, so it's 4 o'clock, I have this bag ready. I probably will enter the shelter now and uh, cook some soup. Okay. I am in the shelter already, so let me see the temperature update is currently 42 degrees, but uh, 
it's not uh, accurate. Uh, it needs at least another 20 minutes. If you remember the last episode where I presented the new heater, I basically brought the same thing. Here are the cans. And this is the cylinder with some additional things inside. Here I have the adjustment for for height where I want the can to sit. I mean the can with the soup. So I will now start the can with the ferro rod and uh, knife. Here we go. And soup is ready. And before I will start with the soup, I want to give you some temperature update. And believe or not, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Very nice. Let's say 8 uh, or 6 Celsius plus. So now I have the plan to take out my boots. They are a bit wet. I will change my socks and will add the plastic bags between the socks to keep my feet warm. Now I am in the sleep system which is the black sleeping bag and the BV from the military sleep system. I left the petrol bag at home. Here I have the heater from the previous episode. This will probably go with me always when the temperatures will be under 30 Fahrenheit if not for uh, heating, for cooking at least, because it's very convenient as you saw. And uh, it's uh, around uh, 6.30 and uh, I have my little kitchen here. <laughs> and uh, the temperature here on ramen noodles is 35 Fahrenheit. It's not bad. Uh, you have to consider that it's basically on the ground. So that's where my face will be somehow during the night. Uh, I cannot wait to have the noodles with the beef jerky <laughs> again. After that I will probably go sleep. So that's the plan for now. So when the dinner will be ready I will be back. As always, noodles and beef jerky. And uh, when I checked the temperature, I still have around 37 Fahrenheit here at the bottom. That's very nice. Uh, here is running still, as you see. And since I'm waiting for the uh, meal to get a little bit colder, just want to mention one of the videos hit a million views, let's say two months ago, which is incredible. Uh, it's the video with the first uh, type of the portable stove. So one more time, thanks for the support. I will finish the soup. So see you in the morning guys. We will see what uh, the night will bring and the morning as well. Good morning everybody. So the night was not the best one and uh, the shelter worked as I checked the temperature uh, now uh, which is 7.30 in the morning. It's around 33 uh, Fahrenheit in this, this height. So probably where I am it will be around 28 I believe something like that but you know I I am alive that's the most important thing and uh, 
Uh, during the night I had some kind of visitor, I'm not sure what it was, if it was deer or, or coyote, I just heard some steps around and uh, you know I slept uh, 10 minutes, wake up, turn, it was not you know the best night. Now I just need to get out of the shelter and uh, we'll show you how it looks like from outside again because um, we had some new snow uh, overnight and uh, I will eat some breakfast and we'll leave. So see you outside. Snow. New snow. Probably another three inches overnight. And it's still snowing a bit. <laughs> like a raccoon. <laughs> wow. It's so beautiful. Wow, now the shelter is complete. Nobody would be able to find it, ever. Wow, what about the other side? Nice, another wall. Yeah, that's great. So as you see, try to build the snow shelter when another, uh, another snow is on the way because it will definitely help you to finish it nicely. Do you remember yesterday this was uh, clean completely, today wow, that much snow, very nice. Certainly, if this would not be shelter for one quick night, I would build it much bigger and uh, it'll be different because uh, it's so tight inside and I cannot move, I cannot uh, dress myself, take boots out, it's, it's too tight, but uh, it worked and uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I am leaving the location of the shelter. Everything is on my back again. And I hope you enjoyed this very snowy trip. Hopefully you can see it's snowing again. And we have a lot of snow. A lot of snow. It's incredible. Snow is fun. You can do a lot of things with it. It's a great insulator. But it can be deadly as well as everything in the winter. So be prepared. Stay warm and think ahead what can save you energy and heat and use the natural resources as much as possible. So thank you one more time for watching and support, subscription, comments and we wow! 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 Did you see that? She was laying right here. Sorry. You see? 
Right there. So that's how they sleep. Even when it's snowing. Okay. And also we still have our patch available on our website or the store if you want to support us. That's possibility for you. And enjoy winter if you are at the winter environment. And if not, jump into the refrigerator for a while. <laughs> so, take care guys and see you at the next episode.